What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, a.k.a. First Name Rage. Last name is him. Back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all. What, what what more is there to be said about NetherRealm Studios? Just simply not getting the job done. If I had to compare NetherRealm Studios to anybody that I've ever come across, NetherRealm Studios is like my dumbass ex-girlfriend, Annalise Cozen. I'm talking about literally, they just do the dumbest shit just simply because they can. Simply because they exist, they just do the dumbest shit ever. Why is Rage King referring to this and getting on NetherRealm Studios' ass like I always have done for all the right reasons? Allow Rage King to show you what's up. Yeah. Um, as you see right here, ain't no optical illusion, ain't no black magic, ain't no Photoshop. This is the real deal, Holyfield. Though I'm not even gonna lie, I kind of wish it was Photoshop. Because let me show you why this footage right here is being shown to you. As you see right here, this is from the Mortal Kombat 1 Twitter page, or X page. I'm calling that shit Twitter. I'm not calling it X. If I call it X, I'm thinking that I'm going to a porno website, all right? So we just calling that shit Twitter. Fuck the dumb shit. Mortal Kombat 1 Twitter page just put this out not too long ago saying a combo fit for a queen. Now, why does that piss me and a lot of people off when it comes to this right here? And why I think and continue to say that NetherRealm Studios are the dumbest game developers of all fucking time in the fighting game genre. Why am I pissed off about this? Why is everybody in the, well not everybody, but why are most people in the MK community pissed off right about now? It's because it's the month of October. Halloween is afoot. And I don't really give a fuck about the candies and the bitches that claim that they not hoes but dress just exactly like fucking prostitutes on Halloween and claim it's a costume when you're really just dressing like the whore you always have been, right? The reason why this pisses me and so many other people off is it's, uh, it's coming up on Halloween. Y'all just released the combat pack, Chaos Reigns, not too long ago. And upon those DLC characters in the DLC uh, story mode, which in my opinion was the worst shit NetherRealm Studios has ever done. They have done shitty jobs before, but this was just sewage, right? Where the fuck is Ghost Ghostface? Of all the characters that were in this goddamn combat pack, Ghostface was one of the people that most people were looking most forward to. Where the fuck is he? Not a combat cast, not a motherfucking, not a, a video like this to show that he's coming, not an announcement date, not a goddamn thing. Just retro fucking silence. But when it's time for y'all to talk shit like you've actually done something, 16 bitch, you dumb fuck. When it's time for y'all to actually handle business, y'all ain't know where to be found. But when it's time for y'all to talk shit like you've done something, now you motherfuckers want to talk, run, or you want to, oh, you want to run your dick suckers then. Ooh, you're losing online, so you're gonna complain online. Bitch or nigga, whatever the fuck you are, how about you get online and play this trash? How about you get online and play this trash and watch motherfuckers mop the flow with you with the scrubbiest shit I've ever seen in my goddamn life? But I digress, we talking about Ghostface here. What the fuck is it? How the fuck do you sell somebody something and then don't tell them when they're getting their shit? That's about the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. Imagine getting a DoorDash order. Or imagine you ordering something off Amazon and they don't tell you when that motherfucker show up. You just got to hope and wait. You didn't pay your money, but you got to hope and wait that one day it just might show up. Get the fuck out of here with that. NetherRealm Studios, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. NetherRealm Studios has gone above and beyond to show everyone in the gaming universe how to not handle a fucking fighting game. A game at all, but especially a fighting game. With the poking bullshit, with the elongated stages, with the motherfucking bullshit ass mechanics, with the lame ass motherfucking hitboxes. Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna ask again, I'm asking on stream, I'm gonna ask again. When does this game get good? And when does this studio do anything right consistently? Because I haven't seen it. The only thing that these motherfuckers at NetherRealm Studios have done consistently is fuck up. Not really smart studios. That's all the fuck they do. It's fuck up. You can't ask people to pay for something and then don't tell them when they're getting it. What kind of business model is that? But then it's going to be motherfuckers that's going to dick suck in my comment section talking about them you just being negative. Bitch, I got a right to be fucking negative. You idiot. What the fuck is... Okay, let's play... Okay, let me step into your... Let me roll into your reality. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me jump into dumbassville. Hold on. Okay, what the fuck is supposed to be positive about? What the fuck am I supposed to be positive about? 
because they gave a game. They didn't give anybody shit. They sold it, you fucking remedial bastard. They sold it, which means I had to come off my money and pay for this shit. I love how y'all want to tell me be patient like this is a free-to-play fucking game. It's not. I don't have no patience for shit not being on schedule, shit not being announced, and shit always fucked up with this goddamn atrocity y'all call a video game. This is why I made the video I made yesterday or, the, or two days ago, whenever the fuck I made it, saying that whether this game, meaning Mortal Kombat 1, was going to be Injustice 3 or the shit slap that we got called MK1, this shit was going to be trash regardless. And all they are doing at NetherRealm Studios is proving me right. But let me guess. Let me guess. I'm telling too much truth. I curse too much. I got to watch all you motherfuckers tell me how to handle my channel. But yet, you can go to another motherfucker's channel. They can say the, the three-letter F word or the six-letter F word three different fucking times on their stream. Nobody bats an eye. No demonetization or nothing. Y'all will literally lie in the motherfuckers' pockets. But yet, I'm the one got to keep it real for free, right? I got to keep it real for free, right? Video fucking evidence of how stupid this goddamn company continues to be day to fucking day. But yet, I got to keep, I'm either being too negative or I got to keep it real for free. While I watch motherfuckers line the pockets of motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about the lore, don't give a fuck about the product, who only want to take money from you and you motherfuckers fall for it. But I got to keep it real for free. I need to be more positive about shit that don't deserve anything positive about it. And here I was thinking that I was the one with the problem. Rage King, I 